Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2D and today we're going to be doing another What If video. So this one actually sort of continues on from our, um, or from the Could Earth Survive Around the Smallest Star video where I sort of thought of the idea of what if we put the smallest star as the moon of Earth. So we can already tell that the um, Earth probably won't do very well here but yeah we're going to go ahead and do it anyway just to see what would happen. So I've already got the smallest star here and then we have the moon right there so all we need to do is go ahead and pause. Then we'll go ahead straight to the moon. Then we need to place the star right on top of the moon like that. So there we go. So now delete the moon. The moon has been replaced by this star. So as we can see, we've got our main sun. And now we have this thing. So I um, wonder what sort of chaos this will work. Cool. So we're probably going to need to click all to orbit on the earth and the star here. So um, there we go. We'll slow down time as well. We're going to click play. Okay, so now the earth is now orbiting this star. So I'm assuming that it's... Oh, okay, now that. I wasn't actually thinking that would happen, but yeah, it all makes sense. We are quite close to the star, so the star's Roosh limit is actually tearing the Earth apart. It's too close. It's too close. Even at the distance of the moon, this star is too close to the Earth, and it is just shredding it to pieces, as we can see here. Look at it. Oh, the poor Earth. It's just losing... Look at all this material. It's just coming out of it. Yeah, the temperature on it probably isn't going to do very well. I mean, the star's luminosity probably not going to be helping out either. We'll disable climate mode as well because that's not really... Um, there's not really any point keeping that on. But as we can see, just chunks and chunks have been pulled out of the Earth here. And it's only 1,500 um, kilometers now. So we can see a ring has sort of been created with the smallest star here. But meanwhile, while that's all going on, is it going to orbit the sun or... No, it won't even with auto orbit. It's just going to fly right through our solar system. So, yeah, it just seems maybe this star isn't going to really work here. But, oh, it looks like it has, um, the ring has actually been built. So look at that. The Earth has became a whole ring now of material. Now, where it actually is Earth? Is it still in here? Oh, it is, in st it is here still. So there it is. So, yeah, not too much going on here now. It looks like all the water has completely evaporated off the um, planet as well. It's going up into the 300s um, in temperature now. Yeah, and this star is pretty much just... It's still losing material as well, even more. Oh, poor Earth. It's just been annihilated. So all of Earth's mass is now just a ring around the um, star here. It looks like it's only in the 500 um, kilometers. So, yeah, just take a look at how much mass Earth has lost now. So we compare it to the original Earth. You can see that that's probably about the size of Ceres now. I mean, that's quite a, that's quite a big loss. I mean, there, yeah, there is Ceres. I mean, that's pretty much a perfect representation. It's pretty much been reduced to a Ceres-sized object. And, yeah, all of its mass is now just in orbit of the star here. So, yeah, just a giant ring. But it seems like some of these asteroids may just collide back with Earth as well. But, yeah, poor old Earth has just been reduced to nothingness. So, yeah, it's now a micro-object, as we can see there. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure... Um, that is game over for any life on Earth there, but um, yeah. So adding this as the, the as the Earth's moon, many bad things happen as we can see here. It's just completely turned the Earth into nothing. So yeah, there is that. But so if we go to the orbits of the solar system, I doubt it will cause any interference with the other planets. We'll go ahead and speed up time now. We'll see if it does anything. I mean, um, yeah, that's all of the objects being shot out, all of Earth's debris, because the game can't run it quick enough. But all of that would, in theory, stay in a ring for a long time. But it looks like this is just flying out of the system now. So, yeah, that is the end of the Earth. It has simply became just a ring of material around the star. So, yeah, there we go. So that is um, scenario one. But we will do a retest just to see if we get any different results. But honestly, with the Roosh limit there, I'm not going to, I'm not expecting any um, changes. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that again. Head back to the Earth, re-add the moon. So let's go ahead and uh, add the moon. Yeah, there we go. So then we head to the moon itself. And I, I want to try auto orbit again. I want to see if it can like work with the sun um, and actually survive in the solar system rather than just flying out. So there we go. We've re-added that. Then we're going to slow down time to pretty much nothing. So there we go. So four seconds. We're going to auto orbit the Earth around the star and then try and auto orbit the star around the sun i guess so there we go is it gonna auto orbit yeah seems like we'll get the same results I'm, I'm clicking it and it doesn't seem like the sun will do anything like it won't doesn't seem like it will cooperate with the sun here so yeah earth will just stay in a ring around that um at the same distance of where the moon was but it seems like no matter what you do 
Looks like EBLM will still be all just leaving the system after it's finished off with Earth. But yeah, again, we'll go ahead and watch it tear up Earth um, in a slower time this time. So, turn all that off. And as soon as it starts to break Earth apart, we'll uh, slow it down and watch all the material just fly out. So here we go. So you can already see material is leaving Earth right now. So that, that's a very big chunk of stuff as well. But yeah, there we go. So, yeah, as it slowly orbits around the star, it is just being shredded to pieces. I mean, look at all of these chunks that have already fallen out. I mean, at this point, of all this material being lost, I doubt humanity would even um, be coping very well at all if they're even still alive. I mean, all that material, that could, like, for instance, this whole chunk here could be a whole country. It's just been pulled out of Earth. I mean, who knows? Um, but you'll see the game isn't programmed to just make parts of the Earth's texture disappear. But yeah, I'm pretty sure some of these chunks in theory could be whole countries and stuff. And also all the water's going to eventually disappear. But as we can continue, we're going to see more and more objects are slowly going to pop out of the Earth. So let's go ahead and speed up again. There we go. We've got more coming out here. Let's go on a studio mode just so we can see. And actually, the studio's not really good. Flashlight. I know that won't work either. Okay, we'll just keep it on realistic then. But we can just see more and more material. It's just slinging out of the Earth. I mean... I think it's done about about one orbit now, and it's already lost all of that. I mean, that is, that's quite a considerable loss. I mean, look at the mass of Earth. We are now into the moon, so if we go to Earth, it's already lost about 0.3%. So 30% of the Earth's mass is already gone in its radius. 0.9, so it's almost lost 10% of its radius as well. But as we can see, the Earth is just shrinking as we're looking at it in only 15 minutes. Um, or f times of 15 minutes here. So you can see the Earth is just the start. It's just going to destroy Earth, no problem. So remember, it's not that far away. It's only the distance of the moon. So in, in theory, man have travelled that that distance to where the moon was. I mean, yeah, pretty uh, pretty close and very dangerous, as we can see here. I mean, yeah, some of the um, objects are crashing back into Earth as well. But look at all the material we just lost there. Damn. We can see it, the, um, the smoke in... This is all steam. So all of the water is steaming up and leaving the planet as well. I mean, if we just go to the... Look at all this stuff. I'm pretty sure that water... Um, material which is going to go less and less as well as time continues but let's uh, speed it up a bit more and continue to watch here so yeah there we go we can see like a, some small asteroids being created um, of earth mass there as well there we go so let's turn off climate mode as well because that shouldn't be on so as we can see the temperature of earth obviously being this close to the star as well the temperature is going to warm up too so that would obviously dissolve the water and get rid of it like so so yeah that's all the water steaming off as well so it it's not only dealing with Roosh limit, but it's also dealing, or dealing with the star's temperature and luminosity as well. So as we can see, the Earth is just being absolutely ransacked now. More and more materials are just being slung out of the object. I mean, look at all this. Look at all of these materials that are just being... Just damn. That's a lot of uh, mass loss there. And as we can see, the Earth is only into the 300s again. So it's back to the size of Ceres. And as we continue going here, it's, it's just completely gone. I mean, 92... That's just the size of a little asteroid now. Nothing, even a pulsar is pretty much can almost be that size. Well, some of them anyway. But yeah, they're definitely smaller than a white dwarf or Ceres or any, even even like Phobos and Nemos around Mars. I mean, they're not too far off Earth. I think they're only about, let's, let's get a comparison. I think they're a little smaller still, but um, here we go. Phobos is about that large. So, and, and then there's Deimos. So yeah, Earth has been reduced to pretty much nothing. We can compare it to Mimas here. It's even smaller than Mimas and Celadus. I mean nothing left of this pluto's moon like damn the original moon i mean look at the earth it's tiny poor little earth and obviously comparing it to the original earth now yeah there's no there's no earth left this wouldn't even look like earth at this point um as there is no this would be in theory this would just be the core of the planet i guess of uh, whatever's left of it so yeah there we go so i don't think it's gonna get any smaller than that since there's really not really anything left to rip apart so we can see all of earth is now just orbiting um eblm here so even the, even if it's the smallest star still deadly enough to completely shred a planet apart if it gets too close as we just saw there so earth has been reduced to absolutely nothing just particles orbiting the um star here and obviously i don't think these particles can be very impressive in size i mean where are they all gone anyway are they where are they because there was loads of the little uh dark chunks i mean we've got some fragments here but yeah they're not very large either so yeah Rest in peace, Earth. Not literally just a ring of material orbiting the starless. Yeah, there we go, guys. That is what happens if you replace the moon 
with the um, smallest star. So although small, still a complete force to be reckoned with against the planet there. So yeah, there we go. That has completely uh, just shredded the Earth apart. And yeah, that is everything, guys. So yeah, let me know what you think of this down below in the comments. Also, if you've got any more ideas for future videos and what if videos and all that stuff. And then um, yeah, let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, guys, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 10,000 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer day by day. Just a huge thanks to everyone. I think we're I think we're less than 500 subscribers away now. So yeah, we are getting really, really close to that. And yeah, that is that. So um, also, guys, I wanted to mention one thing. I am going to be changing my YouTube schedule. So instead of being every two days, I'm probably going to change it to every three days now. So just keep that in mind if um, that's why video there's longer distances in between videos. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind um, for the foreseeable future as um, that's what I want to do with um, creating videos at the moment. So um, yeah, that is that. Just wanted to throw that out there. But yeah, that is everything now, guys. So yeah, make sure to like, subscribe. Make sure you have a great day as well. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.